All right, family, in today's video, we are going to be trying banana for our hair. I have seen several different videos about this and I've always, always wanted to try it. A lot of people say banana makes your hair grow like crazy. And because it is a protein, it also makes your hair strong and prevents it from breaking by giving it the necessary nutrients and protein that it needs. So today, I'm going to be leaving banana in my hair for 24 hours to see what happens. So if you want to see the result of this treatment, then please continue to watch. All right, family. So for the double hair growth recipe with banana, here are the things you're going to need. First, we need some bananas. But I have heard that the more ripe the banana is, the better. So we're going to use the ripe one. Bananas contain silica. Silica is a mineral element that helps your body synthesize or create collagen, which helps make your hair stronger and thicker. Bananas also have antimicrobial properties that can help heal flaky and dry scalp. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel my banana. And don't worry if it has these little black marks. Like I said, the riper, the better. Riper, is that a word? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my banana in little pieces, and then I'm gonna transfer it to my magic bullet. All right, so this is what we have. The next thing we're gonna need is one cup of milk. Milk has calcium, protein, omega fatty acids, and essential vitamins such as vitamin A and D. When milk is applied to the hair, it can help with hydration, moisture, as well as helping the scalp supply important vitamins. The next thing we're gonna need is coconut oil. Coconut oil also adds moisture, shine, and it also has antibacterial properties, which also heals the scalp. So I'm just gonna add a spoonful of coconut oil. The last thing we're gonna add is honey. Honey is great for hair moisturization, it can also soothe the hair follicles and also add shine and moisture to dry, dull hair. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons of honey. All right, family, so that is all we're going to need for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up and blend it. Make sure to blend this very, very well, because if you don't, you are going to end up with chunks of bananas in your hair. All right, family, I think this is pretty good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it to this clear bowl. This is what it looks like. It's nice and watery. You can actually make this thicker if you wanted to, just by adding one more banana. All right, family, let's go ahead and do this. So I have my banana here. So I'm just gonna take my bonnet off. My hair is already detangled. I did go ahead and detangle my hair prior to this with some um, aloe vera. Y'all know that that's my favorite detangler. I didn't film it because I have done the aloe vera um, detangling method here so many times. Um, I didn't feel like I should film it, but if you guys wanna see more of that, please let me know. It's wet, it's kind of wet. All right, so I'm just gonna take this one out. Use my fingers to detangle it. And then I'll grab my banana and just rub. I feel like I smell like banana bread. Liberians call it um, rest bread. But yeah, banana bread is what I feel like I smell like. Okay. My hair feels soft. Um, my curls were already there from the aloe vera. So yeah. I'm just gonna apply more and twist it back up. I know this is gonna drip all over me and I feel like I'm gonna smell like banana bread all night. Whew. The things we do for our hair. messy 
y'all. So I have something on the floor so, to catch the mess. I'm just combing it to make sure that I get every single string. All right, two down. this up. I'm going to bunch it in the back. Alright, so now I'm going to go to sleep. Not right away, but I'm going to sleep in this is what I need. And I'll get up tomorrow, wash my hair, and see what happens. This is a shower cap slash bonnet. This is just great to keep your treatments in. It's great for a wash day. It's great for when you're doing like a hair mask or something and you're not ready to, you know, wash your hair right away. You have to go to the mailbox, to the grocery store, pick up your kids from school. This is a great way to cover your hair because it's not just a regular shower cap. It looks like a bonnet actually, and it comes in many, many different colors. All right, family, this is the next morning. As you can see, the shower cap did a pretty good job. My hair is still wet and I still have some of the juices from the banana. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clip out of my hair and then I'm gonna proceed to wash my hair. Now, if you're in a colder area or if it's winter time, I would definitely not keep it overnight because you could end up getting sick. So I would do this in the summertime or in a weather where it's warm. See this? I still have the juice in my hair, so I'm just squeezing it out. So this is what my hair looks like after squeezing the banana juice out. I can definitely tell that my hair is soft. As you can see, I still have my curls in here. And my hair is not like dry and frizzy or anything like that. It's still very much moisturized. So first thing first, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out the banana out of my hair with just pure water. Then after that, I'm gonna follow it up with my shampoo because otherwise, if I put the shampoo in right away, I feel like I'm gonna have to shampoo my hair a few times and I don't wanna do that because that's gonna end up making my hair super dry. So once the banana juice is out, I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. I honestly don't remember what brand of shampoo this is. I have been moving around a lot as you guys know, so I just grabbed a set of shampoo and conditioner and that's what I'm using today. If I remember to, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the description bar. But you guys already know what my favorite shampoo and conditioner set is, so if I had to refer you guys to something, that would be what I would refer you guys to. This is honestly my first time using this set, so I can't really speak on how it's gonna leave my hair feeling. Do you guys see the little chunk of banana still in my hair? That's what I was talking about before. 
When you go to blend your banana, make sure you blend it very, very well. Otherwise, you'll end up with chunks of banana in your hair, just like this. This took me several rinses to get it out, but I finally did. So now that my hair is fully shampooed, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow up with my conditioner. All right, family, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it out thoroughly. And again, my hair feels soft, it feels strong. And as you can see, it looks a little shiny and my curls are also intact. So I always, always like when I do my treatments and my hair ends up like this. Not all treatments are good for your hair. I have done treatments before where my hair came out dry or tangled up or frizzy or just super unpleasant and hard to work with. So I always love when I do a hair treatment and my hair comes out like this. So the banana method is definitely a must try. I don't know about how it's gonna treat my hair much, much later, but the direct after effect is awesome. So I would definitely recommend trying it. All right, family, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. And if you did, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification so you'll never miss another video. Also, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that is where all the fun happens. All right, family, thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.